I should be crying in the press. Well, that's something. So why am I still praising God? Yes. Because oh, I joy. Yes. The world didn't give it to that's you. That's right. That's right. You didn't get it by some good news that you heard from the world. Amen. You got it because you accepted and believed the good news of the gospel. Amen. Amen. And what God gives you yes. is sustainable. Amen. We, we, the old-fashioned term is eternal. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. The new fashion, so some of us will understand, we like to use it, is sustainable. Oh, I want you to know what God gives you to say. It lasts. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. What the devil gives you, you'll have for a while, uh -huh. but it's not going to last. No, it's not. You find out in life, mm -hmm. the things of this world, amen, they last for a while, oh, wow. but they run out of steam. Yes, they, they can't sustain you. Uh -uh. They can't give you life. Only Jesus, Amen. my God, Hallelujah. can give you life. Amen. Only the Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we thank and praise God today. Thank you, Lord. Because as this scripture said, in whom we live and breathe Amen. and have our very being. Amen. So when we come to the house of God, I don't care what your personality type is. Mm -hmm. I don't care. You got to praise God. That's Amen. right. You want something from God? Yes. I'm telling you right now. Yes. You got to challenge. He, yes. he tells you to challenge him. Uh -huh. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. See, we don't pay attention, but we read, we read that scripture every Sunday. Yes. He said, prove me. Prove Amen. Me. Now, Amen. I say Amen. Hope. Yes. And I will not open you up a window of heaven. And You know, some of us are so exact. We don't know how to think outside the box. Mm -hmm. yep. Serving God is learning how to think outside the box. Amen. Because the world puts you in a box. Well. And in the end of your life, they literally put you in a box. Yes, that's true. true. Amen. Amen. If you're not saved, you're bound by that box Amen. That's true. that they put you in. Amen. The Lord allows you to get out of that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. Amen. You got to think outside the box. What do I mean? That when we read that scripture, it not only applies to tithes, but it's a general approach yes. to the Lord. Amen. And how he deals with you and I. Amen. Amen. He said, prove me now. Yes. And I will not open you up a window of heaven and pour you out a blessing yes. that there shall not be room enough Hallelujah. to receive. Amen. God said, test me. Amen. Today God wants somebody to test you. Yes. Whatever you come with, whatever problem you have, however you may feel found, the Lord is saying, come, prove me. I'm a right now, God. Hallelujah. I am your deliverer. And I will set you free. Thank you, Jesus. I said, prove me. Amen. 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 Prove me now. Yes. Hear what said the Lord of hosts. And that's what God wants to do. And God wants us to do that every day of our life. Like yes. Bishop was saying yesterday, it's not always going to be peaches and cream. No, sir. Amen. Amen. It's not always going to be sunshine. No, sir. Amen. Amen. And warm. There are going to be some cold days. Yes. There are going to be some dark days. That's right. There are going to be some lonely days. Yes. Amen. But with the Lord, it doesn't have to be the norm. Amen. And with the Lord, it isn't the norm. Amen. 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 You know why? Because God is able. Yes, He is. He's able to deliver us. Hallelujah. From any Thank you. and all situations. Thank mm -hmm. you, Jesus. Not only that. Yes. After He delivers you. Yes. He's able to keep you. Amen. 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 So he's able to keep you yes, from sir. falling. Yes, sir. Present your faults in the presence of his glory. Yes, sir. Amen. We read it every Sunday. Every Sunday. Pay attention Amen. with exceeding joy Amen. to the only wise God our Savior. Yes. Power, majesty, dominion for you now forever. Yes. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. 
We serve a mighty God. Yes, Amen. we do. He's on the throne. Yes. Amen. Amen. Elder said you got the you got the um Elder was saying you got to vote. That's good. Yes, mm -hmm. yes it is. But you gotta understand one thing. Mm -hmm. I already got my president. Mm -hmm. He's the president of our life. That's right. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Uh, you know, I like what uh, Bishop Campbell said. No matter who was in the White House, That's I'm gonna eat. That's right. Amen. 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 Let me tell you, going all the way back to when Nixon was in the White House, mm -hmm. I ate. Amen. 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 When Ford got in after him, I ate. Amen. 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 Had some place to sleep. That's right. And I ate. God provided for me. Thank you. Despite when George Sr. was in the White House, yes. I ate when George Jr. What do you call it, Little Bush? Yes. And Junior Bush, that's what they used to call him. Yes. Was in the White House. Guess what? We ate. Amen. When Reagan was in the White House. Yes. We ate. Yes. God provided. Hallelujah. It don't matter. That's right. What did I tell you? Said when Obama got elected, I said, Don't forget who your Lord and Savior that's is. That's right. Because right. he's gonna see you through. You know because he's say. Obama is a politician. He's going to do what is called a politically expedient. Uh, That's the nature. You know, I don't understand true. these people talk about, oh, I'm a man of faith. I'm going to go into politics. That's not your area. Tell you. That's not where your calling is. No. Your calling is with the Lord. Amen. Your weapons are not carnal, Amen. but they're spiritual. Yes. Yes. As to the breaking down of stronghold. Hey! You got to understand, amen, amen, what the weapon of choice is amen. by the word of God. Amen. It's not the way of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. The greatest illustration was Pontius Pilate, his reaction. Mm -hmm. Who he was came to pass. Who he was came out. Yes. Amen. He was, amen, there to keep the peace. Yes. Amen. Amen. He had a decision to make. And this decision was based on right or wrong. Amen. And he himself admitted what was right. Amen. He said, I find no fault in this man. Yes. He's done nothing wrong. That was his words. Yes. Amen. Amen. Those were his words. But because of who he was, he acquiesced to the people. Yes. To the wishes of the people. Yes. Because that's what a politician does. Yes. Amen. Amen. A man of God does that which is right Amen. according to the word of God. Amen. 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 And sometimes that word of God goes against the grain. Yes. See, I want you to understand that we, you know, it's, a, it, it's amazing how we still don't get it. We walk with the Lord so long and we still don't get the concept. The word of God and the world there's a variance yes. between the two. Amen. They don't agree. Oh, so why would you not think that you're going to have difficulty? None. You will have difficulty in this life amen. if you, amen, if you say, I'm going to walk with the Lord, I'm going to live for the Lord, yes. then get ready. Yes. Because you're going to have a problem. Yes. People are going to have a problem with you. Amen. 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 We don't want to dress holy no more. No. Well, mm -hmm. We want to dress like the world. Well, mm -hmm. See how far we can go. We're not proud of being saints of God. But you ought to be proud. Ought to be proud. One of the best things that people can say to you is you're old fashioned. Thank and I don't care how, you, how young you are, young people. Mm -hmm. That's one of the best things they can say. You're old fashioned. Yes. Amen. Because Amen. we need some old-fashioned, old-time religion in Jesus' yeah. name. Well, Amen. 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 Because this new stuff is not worth a hill of beans. It ain't going anywhere. We got too many chiefs, not enough braves. 
We got too many people that want to be in charge and nobody want to do no work for God. Nobody want to work for God. They just want the accolades. They want the money. They want the prestige. They want to, nobody want to get down and dirty. No. Nobody want to tarry no more. No. Nobody want to pray no more. No. Nobody want to fast no more. No. Nobody want to read the word of God no more. No. Nobody want to praise God no more. No. Nobody want to wait on God no more. They want to do it their way. But as the elder was saying, bitch, there's a way. This is the way. Yes. Walk in. That's right. Yeah, and do it. Amen. 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 And Bishop Campbell came back and yes. told us yesterday, mm -hmm. don't forget your promise. That's right. Your vow to God. That's Amen. right. And you know, in the end of Solomon's life, he realized all those riches, all that he had amassed, Yes. Without the Lord was vanity. Amen. 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 Vanity and vexation to the spirit. See, that's what the rich and powerful are finding out. All that they amass, all the fame and the wealth and everything, they may run for a while. See, but the word of God, I'm going to show you how it is. The word of God. Amen. See, everybody lives to prove a point. Amen. Now you and I should be living the proof of point of the word of God, of yeah. the Bible, Amen. that Jesus is right. Amen. The world true. lives in opposition to God. Yes. But you know, I find out that that word, it follows them wherever they go. Yes. Amen. And even though they may seem like they can outrun the word of God, yes. they eventually, what happens is, it catches up to them. Yes, it does. It may catch, us up, catch up to them while they yet alive, yeah. it oftentimes eventually will catch up with them, inevitably, when they die. Yeah. But it catches up with yes, them. Yeah. They constantly look over their shoulder. That is the posture of their life because they're not free. Because yeah. they're under. Let me tell you something. Amen. It's like I was saying before. Amen. We can live in this world as saints and sinners. And so when we tell people, that the Lord is coming back. If they don't see it, it don't have no effect on them. Because they don't believe it. Yes. But if you read the word of God, judgment is the line of demarcation. Yes, it is. Amen. Amen. What am I saying? Amen. We may exist together in this realm, in this dispensation. Yes. But when the wrath of God is manifest yes. on this world, you will find out all things will be revealed. Who is right? Yes, sir. And who is wrong? Amen. You will find out. Amen. Amen. Yes, we will. Judgment is only cruel to those that are amen in danger upon which it's poured out on. That's right. That's why it's cruel. Yes. But they often don't remember how did I get to this point? Jesus. What did I do? Mm. See, even with God, there is a cause Amen. and effect. Amen. There's a, we don't worship an arbitrary God. No. Amen. No, we don't. Sometimes in our life we say, Lord, I'm going through. I've yeah. done everything right. Mm -hmm. What is this strange thing? That's when we got to learn to trust God. Amen. Yes. Because not everything that happened in our life, we're going to understand. Amen. Not everything that happened in my life, I, want, I understand at the time. Right. Amen. Sometimes you just got to ponder and say, Lord, Help. I just got to trust you. That's Amen. Right. I don't know why, Lord, but Lord, it's your correction. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. You're, 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 you're pruning me, you're trimming me. Yes. Whatever you're doing, Lord, yes. that your will be done. Yes. Amen. If I have to go through pain and suffering, so be it, Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. So Amen. be it. We don't like to do that no more. No. Because folks want to treat God like a magic carpet ride. Right? That's, that's not the way it is. No, it's not. That is not the way it is. In order to serve God, and it's going to get tougher for some of us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Like you were saying, amen. You have to go to prison, have to go to prison. But amen, as long as I'm living and breathing. 
Yes. Amen. Amen. I'd rather have a jail sentence than a death sentence. Amen. Amen. And nobody coming in here mm -mm. talking about two men getting married, two women getting married. Not no. here. Amen. 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 They, they, they may put me in jail and they close it down. I, it don't matter. Mm -hmm. But they can't close down what God gave. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You got to be, you got to prepare. Yes, so many of us who talk a good game, mm -hmm. but when it comes to doing, mm -hmm. Yes. We're not willing to That's do. True. When true. it comes no. to going through, we're not willing to no. go through. No. And we buckle on the pressure. Yes. We buckle on the pressure by the way we dress. Amen. We buckle on the pressure by the way we talk. Yes. We buckle on the pressure by the way we think. Yes. And there ain't even no real persecution. Isn't that something? Amen. It's just peer pressure. Amen. It's peer pressure. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's life. Amen. Persecution. Oh, yeah. Compared to what we have, what we may have to go through later on That's if the true. Lord should tarry. But we don't know. But one thing God tell us, be prepared. Yes. Be prepared. Yes. Amen. It's important that we are prepared. Because God, amen, will one day. He's going to crack the sky. Amen. Yes, he is. One day the Bible said the dead in Christ. Yes. Shall rise first. Yes. Amen. And we that remain. Yes. Amen. Amen. If we haven't already passed, yes. we that remain will be caught up to meet him in the end. Amen. 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 We should be looking for that blessed hope. Yes. Amen. Amen. So while we're yet looking, we ought to rejoice. Amen. Hallelujah. Used to sing the song, Don't wait till the battle is yes. over. Mm -hmm. Shout now. Shout now. Get your praise in now. Amen. Oh, God. Give God the glory now. Let somebody see that God is working in your life. Yes. Amen. Doing something for you. Hallelujah. See, when the world worships the devil, they go all out. Yes, they do. They get happy. You know what they do? They get dressed up at night. Yes. They put on their best perfume, cologne. They yes. put on their best clothes. They're excited. Yes. They're, work, they're, they're going, wherever they're going, there's an anticipation yes. about, I'm going to have a good time. Yes. Amen? What? I'm serving my master. Yes. They don't say that literally, but that's what it amounts to. Amen. That's true. And we were coming into the house of the Lord. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, I will be glad and rejoice in him. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Amen. God said, forget about it. Amen. Amen. God said, I don't, I don't need. And they look at us and watch us. They see us. Mm -hmm. They say, what? Well, is that what holiness is all about? That's mm -hmm. true. That's true. That's the truth. Let me die and go to hell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because I don't see no life in those people. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I don't see no life in you. Amen. Hallelujah. They say, Amen. Amen. You're dead. And buried, I don't see no life in you. Amen. I don't see no quickening. Yeah. Hey! Amen. No anointing. Amen. Hey! In you. Amen. Hey! The joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes. But where's the joy? Yes. Amen. Talk from the world is the joy. Where's the life? Amen. Amen. Where's your praise? Amen. Where's your enthusiasm? Amen. For the Lord. Amen. See, I find out, see, one thing, find out, you can make a lot of excuses, but then one thing, that human nature, yes, it trump all your excuses. Yes. That human nature will tell on you. Yes, it does. When you get excited about something, you're going to act like it. That's true. Amen. Amen. And when you're not excited about it, it's going to show. Amen. 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 Uh Amen. You know what? Let me tell you. Yeah. We serve a God, and if I, if I had a thought today, yes. we serve a God that can do what no one else can do. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. We serve a God that can do what nobody else can do. Amen. 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 You know, when you see a man dunk a ball, you say, wow, 
but there's others that can do it also. That's right. When you see a player hit a baseball 400 feet, there's many others that can do the same thing. When you see a man throw a ball 70 yards in the air, there's a few others that can do the same thing. But nobody can do what Jesus can do. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hey! You ain't here. I said nobody. Hey! Can do what the Lord can do. Hey! When you were dead and buried in your sins, amen, nobody could do what Jesus did for you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Let's buy him a word of prayer to the Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for all things. We thank you once again for this time before your people. Oh God, by your spirit, by your might, Lord. Word my mouth, give us give me what to say. Speak, Lord. By your spirit, thy servant will obey. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Reading from the 11th chapter of the Gospel of John. Amen. Amen. <coughs> now there was a certain man sick named Lazarus of Bethany. Amen. And it was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. And Jesus heard that he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of Man might be glorified thereby. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. And when he had heard that boy was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. I tell you, don't that beat all. Lord Jesus, I'm going through. Lord Jesus, you got to help me. Right now, Lord, why don't you come right now? Lord, I just don't understand. I'm sinking right now. Lord, you got to come and rescue me right now. Hey, right now. Because I need you right now. Why would you wait? We need you right now, Lord. Yes, Lord, I just don't understand. Hallelujah. 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 But God got a time. Yes, I want you to understand that God is a faithful God. Yes. Yes. Amen. God comes through in the clutch. You don't have to worry. Amen. He hears your cry. Amen. Some of you don't believe because you got to wait a little while so you think God has forgotten about you, that he's not concerned. But I'm here to tell you that the Lord we serve is concerned about you and I. Yes, he is. Amen. And then he said, Amen. When he, he said, then after he died, he said to his disciples, let us go on to Judea again. Amen. And if we read further, amen, it said these, in verse 11, it said these things said he that after that he said unto them, our friend Lazarus sleeping, but I go that I may wake him out of sleep. Then said his disciple, Lord, if he sleepeth, he shall do well. How be it Jesus spake of his death, but they thought that he had spoken of taking a rest in sleep. Uh -huh. And then Jesus had to make it plain to them. Uh -huh. yes. And then Jesus said unto them, Lazarus is dead. Uh -huh. Sometimes the Lord got to make the situation yes. plain That's That's right. Right. to you and I. That's right. Sometimes it said it is what it is. Right. Sometimes the Lord bring you to a place where he said you are broke. Yes. You're broke. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the Lord have to tell you that you're sick. Yeah. Hey! You're sick. Hey! Sometimes the Lord have to tell you that no means no. Right. Sometimes the Lord speak to you and say it is what it is. Right. And that's a time you have to learn to lean on the Lord. Yeah. That despite how it looks, yeah. 
a lot of times God wait, amen, till you hit rock bottom. In that order, he might lift you up so that you can know nobody can do what God can do. Nobody can do what Jesus can do. Amen. 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 Nobody. Amen. Hallelujah. Then said Thomas, which is called Demas, unto his fellow disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. And that's how it is a lot of time with folks. When something bad happens, well, let's all go. Uh -huh. We all gonna fall apart. Let everything fall apart. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. When you got Christ in your life, it should yes. not be like that. Amen. 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 Just because one fall don't mean everybody. Amen. Fall. That's true. Amen. Not only that. God got a work for you to do. Yes. God got some. He saved you for a reason That's and a right. purpose. Amen. Amen. Some of you, like we gotta stop thinking, Amen. Amen. Like children. Uh huh. Amen. I said, come as a child. Yes. That's right. And be converted. Right. But afterwards, you gotta start thinking as an adult. Amen. Amen. God just don't have something for the pastor to do. He's got something for you to do. Amen. 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 God got a work for you to do. Mm -hmm. That's right. So just because somebody else fall by the wayside does not mean that you got to fall by the wayside. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 Just because things are happening to other folks yeah. and somebody may, and not that Lazarus failed the Lord, but I'm just giving, not, just because other people might fail the Lord doesn't mean you got to join them. Amen. 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 Like Bishop was saying. Amen. You got to save yourself. That's right. Amen. 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 See, because if you keep your eye on other folks, when they fall, you fall. That's, That's true. true. That's so true. Amen. 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 When they go down, you because you put all your stock, all your faith in go them. Ahead. And when your faith in them is shattered, your faith is shattered. That's right. Amen. But if your faith is in Jesus That's right. Christ yes. and the Word of God, yes. you cannot and will not be will. moved. Hallelujah. You can be shaken. Amen. Yes, you can. But you ain't gonna be moved. Amen. There's a difference. Amen. A good building on a good foundation. Sometimes the wind will come and put hard enough and it'll sort of shake it a little bit. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's not going anywhere. Amen. No. Amen. Those trees that are rooted in the ground. That's right. They got those strong roots. Yes. Amen. When that wind comes. They may bow and bump a little bit, but they ain't going down. Because yes. why? Because they're rooted in the ground. Amen. And that ground is the word of God. Yes. On Jesus Christ, the solid rock, our stands. Amen. Amen. So that when the storms of life come, when I'm tested, I may bow a little bit, but I will not be broken. I will not be brought down. Amen. Because the Lord is my strength. Amen. Because no matter what I'm going through, I know that nobody can do what Jesus can do. Amen. When Jesus came, he found him laying grave for four days already. It was what it was. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. And then, if we read in verse 21, Amen, this is always our refrain. I've said this, so have you. Mm -hmm. Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. Mm -hmm. But I know that even now, Lord, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it Thee. Jesus said unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Mm -hmm. See, we, we constantly misinterpret and misinterpret what God says. Mm -hmm. We're just like Martha, we're just like the disciples. Yeah. God is saying one thing, we take it for another. Amen. 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 And Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. He said, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about right here and right now. He said, I want you to understand. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. 
he that believeth me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believeth thou this? God is saying to you today, do you believe this? You've been hearing it. Amen. You've been professing it. Uh -huh. You've been claiming. But do you believe it? Amen. Right now where you're sitting. Mm -hmm. Do you believe it right now? Yes. God wants to know. She said unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, yes. which should come into the world. Mm -hmm. When she had said so, she went away and called Mary, her sister, secretly, saying, The Master is come. Call it for thee. Amen. And then we, we go down to verse 34 and said, Where have ye lain? And they said unto him, Lord, come and see. Well, and Jesus wept. Yeah. See, the Lord has compassion. Amen. You don't realize it, but when you're going through, he has compassion. Thank you, Amen. Lord. When the Lord sees that you're hurt, He's sorrowful Amen. as well. Amen. See, your friends can be sorrowful. Amen. But what can they really do? Amen. 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 So Amen. Amen. Your friends can sympathize. Yes. The saints sometimes can sympathize. Yes. But other than pray for you, what can they really That's do? True. Amen. 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 See, your hope is in the Lord. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Not in man. Amen. Not in man. We look to each other sometimes, yes. put our trust in flesh, and we're disappointed. That's why a lot of people are angry. That's right. Yeah. You know why they're angry? Inside the church and outside the church, because they put their trust in man. Amen. Amen. And they've been disappointed. Amen. Amen. And you see, other people are happy. They got the joy. You know why? Because not because they they put their head in the ground like an ostrich. That's not. The, because they know in whatsoever state I'm in, they be content. Why? That's because right. I'm trusting in the living Amen. God, not in man. Amen. Because I realize man will disappoint me. Amen. Yes. The arms of flesh will fail me, but yes. God will never leave me. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 God will never leave me. Yes. Yes. And you know, I, I want you to understand something. The reason why God does that is because of his faithfulness, yes. not so much because of our faithfulness. Certainly not. You know, Brother Jose had a wife that was unfaithful to him. Yes. Amen? Amen. Yes. But guess what? He was faithful to her and he That's loved right. her so much. Yes. When she sold herself away, he brought her back. That's yes, right. Yeah. Same thing with our relationship. That's right. With God. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we sell ourselves to the devil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even after we get saved. Go ahead. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. We do That's in good. certain ways. We sell ourselves to the devil. Yeah. And God sees our unfaithfulness. And we don't deserve any redemption whatsoever. No, we, don't. we don't deserve any. But guess what? God still take us back. Yeah. Yeah. Because of his power and his love. Amen. 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 Why do you think the prodigal son had it right when he came back to his father's house? He said, I'm not even worthy to be called your son yeah. anymore. Yeah. I don't deserve anything. I'm not privileged to anything. Amen. I'm willing to do anything yes. that I might be allowed to come back Amen. because I failed God. Yes. I've sinned against God, I've yes. sinned against you. Hallelujah. So I'm not entitled to anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, that I once was entitled to, but because his father loved him yes. so much. Amen. Yes, he welcomed him back. Amen. He celebrated. Yes. My son, my child is back in the fold. Mm. Yes. Glory to God. Glory, glory. Amen. Amen. See, that's the kind of God that we serve. Yes, amen. 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 And we read in verse 36, then said Jesus, behold, how he loved him. Yes. See, that's all. He loved Lazarus. Jesus loved Lazarus. Yes. He had a compassion yes. for him. Even when, amen, when he saw the people, amen, he saw that they were hungry. Amen. Yes. The Bible said he was moved with compassion because he saw that they had a physical need and a spiritual need. Yes. And he did just that. 
He took care of their physical need. He fed them. Amen. And then he taught them yes. the way of the Lord. Yes. His way. Amen. Amen. That's the kind of God that we serve. Amen. And here we see yeah. he had love and compassion for Lazarus. Why? It was evidence because he wept. He wept right along with the rest of the people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So that's how Jesus is. Amen. He's not a God that's not touched by our infirmity. He's not a God that's so high up that he can't feel our pain. No, amen. amen. He has compassion uh, for us. He, he understands uh, what we're going through better than anybody else. Amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. When the Lord takes his hand off you, amen. then you've got a problem. That's right. That's right. Then you, when man takes his hand off you, that's all right. Yes. When your family take their hand off you, that's all that's right. All right. Mm -hmm. It may hurt, but it's okay. Amen. Because God always got your back. Hallelujah. The problem you should work is when God takes his hand off that's you. That's right. Amen. Then you have a problem. Amen. Amen. Then you're in trouble. Amen. Otherwise, you're okay. Amen. Because God is on your side. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. And some of us said, could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind have caused that even this man should not have died. Amen. And Jesus therefore again groaning in himself coming to the grave. It was a cave. And a stone lay upon it. So he had already been sealed up. Yes. The person is dead. Amen. Amen. And they knew he was dead. They take and they seal up the grave. Yes they did. Just like in Jesus case. Just like in Lazarus' case, mm -hmm. in Jesus' case, they not only put the stone in front of it, yes. but they put the guards there. Amen. Make sure they don't come back and take the body. Amen. Uh, Make sure they don't realize we serve a supernatural God. Amen. Amen. You could have put ten stones. Hallelujah. It wouldn't have stopped them. No. no. Rising from the dead. That's mm -hmm. right. But we serve a mighty God. Amen. 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 And Jesus said, take away the stone. Amen? Amen. And Martha, the sister of him that was dead, said unto him, Lord, by this time he's thinking. For he had been dead four mm -hmm. days. Four days. Mm -hmm. four days. Jesus took his time. Four days. Lord, you're taking your time. Well. I'm already broke. Well. I'm already in the hospital. Well. I'm already being attacked. Uh -huh. I already lost my job. Uh -huh. What's going on? Yeah. <coughs> it's already happened. Mm -hmm. Lord, you let it happen. Hallelujah. That's what we say. Uh -huh. Sometimes Lord. we become offended with God. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 Then they took away the stone from the place where it was dead lay. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me, and I know that thou hearest me always. Yes. But because of the people which stand by, I said, I said it, that they might believe that thou hast sent me. Yes. And when he thus, when he had thus spoken, he cried with a loud voice. He didn't say, Lazarus, go forth. No, he did. Not like that. But he said, Lazarus.
fulfill to know as you know. He is the life and the resurrection. Yes, He is. Not only the physical life, but the eternal life. Yes. And I watched the heart rate went down. Down. But when they took him off, he was still, he was breathing. I said, oh, okay, he's still breathing. See, I've never been through this before. Yes. So I just I'm, I'm praying. I said, thank you, Jesus. And he's still breathing. He's still breathing. I thought once they took him off, it don't work like that. No, it doesn't. And then when I started to look, and I saw all the divine signs going down. Yes. I said, Lord, this is it. Amen. 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 See, that life force that God had given all the way back in 19. On December the 3rd, was no longer there. It was gone. And despite the efforts of man, yes. he couldn't bring it back. That's right. Amen. Amen. No one can do what the Lord can do. Amen. And it shows you that life is precious. Amen. It is a yes, gift. It is. Yes, it is. ought to be taken away. And I'm going to say this. Like I said, Bishop Brown paid for my father 22 years ago. Yes. I know that God extended his life. Yes. Now what he did with it in the time that he had it yes. was between him and God. That's right. But I know God extended his life. Yes. For 22 years because they brought me down here to say goodbye to my father yes. 22 years ago. Isn't that something? Now remember, amen, the man of God came. I came right from seeing my father. It was on a Sunday. I went to the airport, got on the plane, and somebody picked me up. I don't know who picked me up, but somebody picked me up from the airport, took me right into service. Yes. Looked like I stepped right into town for the prayer line. Yes. And there was Bishop Brown. Yes. Amen. And I told him the situation, he prayed. Yes. Amen. Amen. My father lived for another 22 years. Amen. We realize, saints, you got to redeem the time. Amen. That's right. Amen. God gave the time. Amen. You got to redeem the time. You know, people talk about Hezekiah, but guess what? The same God that gave Hezekiah an extension yes. is the same God yes. we're serving today because I'm Amen. with you. Yes. I've seen what he can do. Yes. They told him, because my mother told the doctors at that time, said, don't operate no more. There's nothing more you can do, and if you're operating again on him, you're going to kill him. No, we can't do nothing else for him. That's it. Let him die. Let him die. God is a merciful God. Merciful Jesus. Amen. That's the kind of God that we serve. Amen. It's not based on our faithfulness. Yes. It's based on His faithfulness. Yes. For many times, no matter how we may try, we come short of the mark. The Bible said all have That's sinned. True. It didn't say the sinners have sinned no. and the saints have been perfect. No, if, it if that was if it, that was the way it was, it would have said that. That's right. But it said all have sinned oh. and come short of the glory of God. Yes. So when you look at it, when you realize, you have to say, Lord, I thank you. Yes. And I'm blessed. Amen. I haven't always done right. Even after I got saved. Amen. I haven't always been perfect. Lord, I haven't always believed you like I ought to. Amen. I haven't always been patient. No. I haven't always been faithful. Yes. But Lord, yes. you've been faithful to me. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Like I said, when you look at Hosea and Romeo, terrible thing that she did. But you know what? He went back, he purchased. It. Yes, he did. He said, I love you. Yes, he I know, did. I know what you've done. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. A lot of you know what you say. A lot of you will say, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't take them back. Right. Thank God God don't treat you like that. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You may not have jumped in bed with somebody, but spiritually, you and I have played the heart. Amen. In some way, shape, or form, some degree. Hallelujah. You may not have committed adultery, but some way. Right. You and I betrayed God through the years. We yes, have. Yes, you yes, and me. Yes, I know you said, not, maybe you, Pastor, but not me. Yes, you have. Yes. 
That's right. Because the word of God tells me That's right. that you have. Amen. But God is a faithful God. Hallelujah. You and I stand here today by the grace of God. Now in our own goodness. Yes. Amen. Amen. God does wonderful things. Nobody. Yes. When the doctors throw their hands up, that's it. They can't do anything. They can't. Amen. Amen. When that woman called and said her son had he found cancer, what could the doctors do? Do nothing. But you know, so we we got somebody. You know, I got a I got a plan. I got you know some people got blue cross and blue shield and they can't. Even. U.S. Healthcare, Amen. I got a special medical plan called Eternal Care. Amen. No matter what happens, it's all right. Amen. For my physician, Hallelujah, is the great Jesus. Hallelujah. It's okay. Yes, sir. So if I'm gonna be healed, I'm gonna be healed by Him. Amen. 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 If I'm not gonna be healed. Lord, give me grace to go through. Amen. It's not your will, Lord. Amen. And as hard as it may seem, a lot of times people don't realize, God chooses people to go through. Yes. That he may demonstrate no. grace. That's true. Under distress and sorrow yes. to somebody. They may hear about it in the word of God, but God realizes that we need tangible evidence. Yes. That we can see, feel, and touch. Yes. We're still in the physical realm. Yes. We're not yet in our glorified bodies. Yes. Amen. We Amen. haven't arrived yet. So God understands. And God will use people to demonstrate Amen. what it really means to go through. Amen. And by the grace of God. I, I, I remember, Amen, Bishop Brown. And he was the first pastor I ever heard him say. He said, Lord, if you don't heal me. Give me grace to go. Amen. 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 And you know, the preacher said, God heal all the time, no matter what. Amen. He's going to heal. Listen. Amen. Sometimes God will allow you to allow to go through. Sometimes. He allowed Jesus to go through. Yes. What he went through, he was um, obedient yeah. to death. Amen. We have to be the same way. But we don't know how we're going to do this. That's true. Person. We don't know. No, we don't. But one thing, we can rest assured that we can be with Jesus. Yes. So when the Lord calls us, we got to answer. Yes. Lazarus came out. He was dead. Amen. Amen. And that's what the Lord did for each and every one of us. Yes. That named the name of Jesus. Yes. At some point in our life, it may have been 30, 40, 50, 60 years ago, but at some point, yes. Jesus called us like he called Lazarus. Amen. 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 Lazarus was dead. We were dead like Lazarus. Amen. Dead in our sins. Yes. But somehow, some way, by the grace of God, we responded to the call. And God said, Loose. Let him go. Amen. Told the devil, take your hands. All souls are mine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This one belongs to me. Amen. Take your hands off the soul. And God has made you. God has established you. And God has been faithful to you. Yes, He has. Amen. And I believe it was Bishop Campbell was saying some of the folks that they grew up with, a lot of them gone. But guess what? You're here. A lot of folks, Amen. You know, a lot of folks you came up with mm -hmm. in the church. Yes. They're gone. Amen. And just about everybody outside the church is gone. Mm -hmm. They're gone. They're long gone. But well, God has spared your life. Thank you, Jesus. A lot of your family members are gone. Thank you, Jesus. Some of my, 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 my cousins, amen, had a, a cousin Dawn and a cousin Edison used to play with them when I was younger in Brooklyn. They're gone. They didn't even reach 30. Oh, my. They're long gone. Amen. Death and disease, they're gone. Amen. I played with them, I ran with them. Amen. Did, did, did things I should not have done with them. 
Amen. Amen. I wasn't very two shoes. But God spared my life. Thank you, Lord. And God saved me. I remember I used to visit a, a friend in Brooklyn. We used to ride across the street from the church. I used to remember the ushers used to have white suits on and white gloves. And somehow, I never stepped foot in that church. God never allowed me to because he had progressed yes. for me to go to. Amen. Didn't matter what denomination, that wasn't the church for me. It was so close. It would have been so easy for me to just literally walk across the street and step in church. Amen. When the Jehovah Witness came and tried to talk to me, I wouldn't have to. Amen. I wouldn't hear that. But when the when I came to progress, it wasn't because of Bishop Brown, but because the power of God Hallelujah. was there. Amen. See, and even in my know-it-all attitude, I became subject to God. And that's a, when I came, the first time I Visit Progressive, when I left that church, came out, I was speechless. I just walked down the sidewalk on South Franklin to my car, and I didn't have anything to say. I was walking by myself, and I was speechless. And what I had witnessed, the power of God, nothing like it. Amen. See, some of you are so jaded. You don't appreciate what God does. Amen. But God is a renewing spirit. Yes, he is. Amen. Amen. He blesses Hallelujah. us every day. Hallelujah. I came off the street. I didn't know about these things, about holiness. Amen. I didn't know. Amen. But when I saw the manifest, I saw young people my age. Yes. I said, what? I thought church was for old folks. Uh -huh. I didn't know this was possible. Yes. What are they doing? What is this? Why are people crying? Why are people shouting? Why are people praising them? Why are they saying hallelujah? What is all this going on? Yes. Amen. But when the when you meet up with the power of God, hallelujah. hallelujah. I don't care how big and bad you are. That's right. Jesus. When you have an encounter with the living God. Yes. Sir. Not the dead God. Yes. But the living God. Hallelujah. He had heard about him, but when he experienced, when he came into the presence of God, my God, fell on his knee. Yes. Not, Lord, what would you have me to do? Jesus. I give up, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What would you have me to do? Jesus. Lord, help me. I need help, Lord. Amen. I need you, Lord. I need your power. I need your mercy. I need your grace. Hallelujah. Help me, Lord. Lord, I've been going the wrong way, but Lord, Thank you, Jesus. you're God of the second chance. Oh, yeah. Help me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever you're into, you're dead in your sin. Whatever it is. Hallelujah. Never got you in the right. Amen. You got yourself in the right. God can bring you out. Amen. God is saying, come forth. I said, come forth today. Come now, let us reason again. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.